Welcome to the show. The Resurrected is back, but he's in the field. Today, we are talking about Nintendo's Summer of Play, Far Cry 5, and Neil deGrasse Tyson's game. But first, let's go to Quickfire. Welcome to Quickfire, today we're going to be talking about the Xbox One S, which is going to slowly release 4K HDR content. Sonic Mania has a new trailer with Knuckles. Is it just me, or does Dread Fox sound exactly like DMX in the Knuckles rap? Developer Warframe is releasing a game called Keystone, which blends FPS action and deck building strategy into a 70s multiverse. Destiny 2 won't have matchmaking, they're introducing a new system called Shovel Up Your Fucking Dick Hole. Modern Abject is creating Shovel Souls, a game that mixes Dark Souls, Shovel Knight, and Pain. Logan was supposed to start with uh, Professor X killing all the X-Men. Wait, spoiler alert. The Atlanta Braves played Mario Kart 8 during a rain delay. Is there anyone who isn't playing this game? The Witcher 3, Mild Cut, sold better in the first quarter of this year than the first quarter of last year. I, I, I don't know why. Monster Hunter 20 was announced for the Switch, and Nintendo's stock jumped to an eight-year high. And now, to the Resurrected, in the field. Uh, Quinn? Hey kids, do you like rabbits? Do you like Mario? Do you want to see a dead body? Then you'll be excited to hear about a new leak of a possibly upcoming Mario Rabbits crossover. All we know is that somebody leaked some advertising slides. Let's talk about Star Wars. Star Wars The Last Jedi. What's going to be in the movie? Well, first let's talk about what's not going to be in the movie. One thing that won't be found in The Last Jedi is romance. Something that wasn't in The Force Awakens either. But what's really bugging me is that we won't be getting new information about Snoke. And that's no joke. We'll never know how big he is, or if... We'll never know why he's so big, or even if he's actually the size that he appears to be. And, take it from me, it's always unnerving when you don't know how big you are. The Nintendo Switch has been really good for business over at the GameStop. The only problem is that uh, they've been selling more than they can supply. Sound familiar? Neil deGrasse Tyson is making a game that sounds like StarCraft with entertainment. The, the, uh, there wasn't any gameplay footage in the trailer I saw, but the game sounds like it's going to be pretty cool. Welcome to Indie Showcase. Today we're going to have a little bit of meta news, in which case we're going to talk about an Indie Showcase, which I recently did with The Resurrected. We did an Indie FPS Showcase. We're going to be doing a theme showcase every week at Wednesday around 8 p.m. Central, so be on the lookout. Now, you may be interested in Halo. It's a pretty good game. There's a fan game currently coming out called Installation 1, which is a multiplayer game reminiscent of Halo 2 and 3's multiplayer. Now, you're going to have to wait for any actual demos, but there is a cinematic trailer linked down below, and you're just going to have to wait to be able to play it. Mecha On is a twin stick mech fighting game. In which case, you just go through waves upon waves of enemies. It's going to be terrible. But it's actually a pretty good game, if you like that style. It's anime as fuck, so maybe you should try it. Blasphemous is a much harder 2D side-scrolling game, reminiscent of Dark Souls. It's recently released its $1,000 stretch goal, which is pretty good. It's going to be funded, it's going to be coming out at some point, and it's going to make me break one of my controllers. Man, maybe you want something that isn't going to make you break a controller. In that case, you're going to want to try The Card Chronicles 2, which is a Castlevania game that Konami just won't make. Konami hasn't made a game since 2014 that is Castlevania related. They must be waiting on the Netflix series, but I guess I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. The Battlefield 1 DLC in the name of the Tsar features female soldiers, the Russian Women's Battalion of Death to be exact, and is the first Battlefield game to feature female soldiers. I'm afraid to make a joke about this, so let, I guess we'll move right along. Red Hood is coming to Injustice 2 fairly soon, and we have some really cool looking screenshots. The character will be debuting in a tournament called Combo Breaker, and maybe I'll even show you my Red Hood. 
Street Fighter 4 Championship Edition is coming to iOS. It has new characters and it even has gamepad support if you can believe that shit. And Vegas stage from Street Fighter 2 is back and better than ever in Street Fighter 5. You can even climb on the cage. The best part is, is that it looks exactly like the original, like to a shocking degree. A fitting tribute to everyone's favorite Spanish ninja bullfighter. Wait, what? Anyway, Titanfall 2 has an upcoming DLC called Monarch's Reign. It has a new Van Dread, a map from Cl Clash of the Titans 2, and some plot. Darkest Dungeon, it's got new DLC coming out next month. It's called Crimson Court, which reminds me of my last speeding ticket. It adds tons of stuff like new enemies, a new dungeon, a rabbit's foot that you can rub on your nipples for good luck, well, maybe not that last thing, but I heard that it adds trinkets, so who knows? If you're looking for a super gory, violent, animated series, then Konami's got you covered. They're bringing their Castlevania series to Netflix. And uh, more importantly, Warren Ellis, the comic book writer, is writing it. He's apparently been working on this for about 10 years, he claims having made an animated short a while back. The teaser trailer is linked down below if you're interested in seeing it. Nintendo is having a Summer of Play, in which case you can play its Nintendo Switch and 3DS games that are coming out over the summer before they're released. The only downside is you have to be on location in order to play them. What are those locations? Oh my god, it's a magic link! What are those games? Oh my god, it's a magic link. It should be done. It should be done pretty quickly. Uh, at Japan Expo 17, 2017. That is going to be taking place in France. If that makes your brain hurt a little bit, uh, you're not the only one. But more importantly than just the, there's a Japan Expo in France is Pokemon I Choose You, the 20th anniversary movie, which will uh, be a retelling of Ash's Journey in the Indigo League, which for those of you who don't know, is the first part of the animated series. It'll bring new animated styles to the old stories, and I mean, who am I kidding? My nostalgia is going to make me go see it. Far Cry 5 had a trailer released this week, and it's, uh, oh man, welcome to Hope County. <laughs> Hope County, Montana has been taken over by a religious cult, and it is your job to take it over. Not the cult, but the town. I, I realize that might have been a little bit unclear. Now, there's three trailers showing the various individuals who are the resistance to the cult and there's one trailer that shows Dan Hay, who is the executive producer, that talks about what it takes to make a Far Cry game and uh, some other things. They're all linked down below. I recommend you go watch them all. Now, sadly, we're going to have to wait till E3 to hear more info on them, but eh, it happens the Xbox Game Pass. It's going to release 100 games for you to play, but it comes at a cost of $10 a month. Welcome to the good, the bad, and the weird. And the good news, we're going to be talking about Pokemon Magikarp Jump, which is a game that pits you, a Pokemon Magikarp Razor, against other Pokemon Magikarp Razors to compete against a league of other Pokemon, Magikarp, there's a lot of Magikarp in this game, and there's a lot of puns. I quickly became addicted to it, and I'd recommend it to any of you watching as a free mobile game, but if you need me, I'm gonna be raising my Magikarp. Red Dead Redemption 2 has been delayed. Apparently they're trying to make the game as good as possible at launch, and there's no reason not to go all out. If you've been living under a rock for the past few days, one, you should probably find better, a better place to live, and two, you probably haven't seen the Season 7 Game of Thrones trailer, in which case, I, well, I'm 
not one to spoil things. So I'm going to link the trailer down below for you to see on your own. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is nearly finished. We should be seeing gameplay later this year, but not in E3. Insert joke here. If you're one of the lucky people who got to play Gwent, then you're going to get a free copy of The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. Why couldn't I get chosen? Under the weird news, King of Kong is a documentary that's going to be made into a musical, which is kind of weird until you realize that there's an Alice in Wonderland porn musical from the 70s. Google it if you don't believe me. Back to the bad news, the Baywatch movie crashed in uh, theaters. Surprisingly, uh, critics thought it was bad. What? Uh, but really though, who thought that movie was going to be good? The creators of Seaman for the Dreamcast are teasing a sequel. They posted pictures of themselves wearing t-shirts with Seaman on them. And they should be making Seaman as we speak. Seaman 2, that is. Alright. That's it. Shut it down. Nobody cares anymore. We've been recording this shit four fucking hours. Shut off lights. Join us next week when we fuck no, some shit No, stop out. that. Stop. Stop. No. We're done. It's over.